Welcome back, I'm Shad, and today we're going to talk about how to choose your colors for your kitchen. And I'm going to use the example just of cabinetry and countertops because it's a really easy way to demonstrate what, um, what I'm going to share with you. So let's take it away. Welcome back, guys. <clears throat> so good to have you. Um, so you're trying to decide on the colors of materials for your kitchen. Now, one of these times I'll do a video where I show everything, picking the, the cabinets, countertops, sink faucets, hardware, lighting, you know, trim, the, the flooring, the base molding, the, 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 the paint, you know, whatever it may be. Um, but I'm just going to demonstrate the simple example and, and, and things that I do to help people with picking colors, just utilizing countertop material and cabinets. Okay, so basically, um, I'm going to give you a couple of simple um, recommendations. So let's say that you fall in love with um, your, your countertop or, 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 or a cabinet itself. Um, first of all, let me step back for just a moment. Um, <clears throat> the way I've worked as a designer over the last three decades is if a client comes to me and gives me an open palette of color to choose from. In other words, they say, Shad, you pick my colors for us. That doesn't work very well for me anyway. I mean, there might be some designers who say, great, I'll design it like my last project or like the ideal project I want to do. My recommendation that makes it easy for everybody is if you have at least one color in mind. So let's just say that you fell in love with a certain paint color that you want in your kitchen okay, or in your house. It doesn't matter. Then you say, okay, help me pick my colors for the rest of the project based on that color. So what I do when I help recommend colors is I pull together um, all my samples that I'm recommending to the client using that as a base. And usually I'll give at least three different color palettes so the client feels like, you feel like, life isn't you know, spent for the next few months picking colors, an endless amount of colors. Um, and so that way you feel like, okay, great. That's a base color for the walls. I'm going to choose these others. Or maybe it's flooring. Maybe you fell in love with some certain flooring that you saw in a model home or parade home or your neighbor's home or, out, or in, in the flooring store. It doesn't really matter what it is. So let's say in this particular case, you fell in love with, with a countertop. <clears throat> and you go, that is a gorgeous countertop. This happens to be a porcelain. Um, and I want that in my kitchen with the waterfall edges and I, I just want it to, to be the, the striking focal point in the kitchen. That's just fine. So now let's go shop for cabinet colors. Let me demonstrate to you some of the things that I teach to help you pick your colors, okay? So let's say that I was coming along this situation here and I'm, I don't have all my little samples because I felt like this is an easier way to demonstrate in a video format um, how to do this. So first of all, my recommendation is you want to make sure that your material is oriented the same way it will be in your space. Let me tell you what I mean. If I come up and I want to see whether or not this particular color cabinet will look good with this countertop, now that I'm, now I'm seeing the, the, the <laughs> I'm going to have to zoom in here maybe, but um, I want to put the countertop on a horizontal plane and keep the cabinets on a vertical plane because that's how you're going to look at it in the space. If I pull the, the, the samples out and look at them like this, Sure, I can look at them and say those colors look good together just next to each other, but that's not how they're going to look in the space, right? They're going to be like this, right? <laughs> or like this, or like this, or however you, you, you orient yourself. So look at them in the way that they're going to be oriented. It'll help you get a better feel for how it works because there's a lot of factors. It's, the, it's the, uh, the reflection off the material, how it looks. It looks differently when it's horizontal versus if it's vertical. I probably won't see much of the reflection as much in some of those um, you know, orientations. Okay. So again, number one, orientation. Next one. Um, then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at this from about six feet away. Now, this might be a little bit hard for me, though you're about six feet away, so that'll make this relatively easy. So <clears throat> what I mean by that is hardly ever are we looking at materials, you know, this close, right? Um, so um, put it with the material you're considering. Step back six feet like you're on that video and this video and say, does that look good to me, right? Now, whether it be the, the, the shade or tint of the colors or the actual, um, uh, you know, the actual color tone itself, okay? So shade or tint, for those of you that don't know, that's darkness or lightness of one particular color. And then tone is the variation of other mixed colors in that color. So whether or not I, if I have red, if there's any green, blue, yellow mixed in with that red, that's the tone. And if that red goes to pink, that's a tint. If that red goes to, um, you know, dark red, <laughs> then that's then that's a shade of the red. Okay. So as I'm going to put these next to each other, I want to step back six feet. 
I want to, I want to look at that and say, Ooh, I like that mix. There you go. Six feet. Now, now that you've done that, there's one last tip. Take those colors home. If you can make sure they're in this similar lighting as the type of light you're going to have in your project. So for instance, if you're going to have a mix between, um, you know, some halogen and, and, uh, sorry. Yeah. Well, even maybe halogen, halogen and LEDs, then try to find the setting where you might have that in your room. If not, maybe you can find a cheap LED light that gives the same color tone as what you're thinking of putting in your, in your space. But either way, try to get it as close as possible because of course that affects the way that the tone looks on your materials because of the coloration of your lighting. One big piece of advice on the lighting, do not choose your sample colors out in sunshine <laughs> unless you're going to have the, the materials outside. And even then you have cloudy days. So, um, all those factors help. So just make sure. And then the, as a last part of that, keep those samples oriented in the bed, close lighting as, as you can to the space you're going to be in and live with them for a few days. Look at them throughout the day. And as your moods change, as your, the day changes, um, as all those factors play in, if you still like the material for the most part, the choices you made through all those factors, you'll probably like it for a long time. If however, you only liked it in the showroom, then, uh, then you might not like it so much when it gets into your space, but you won't know until you get there and then it's too late, right? Hope this helps. Thanks so much for watching. Hey guys. If you like the content that I produce here on Kitchen Bath Experts, will you please take a moment and press that subscribe button? Also, um, I love your comments. I love a chance to give my advice and feedback. That's really the reason why I do all this anyway. And so please, um, would you please um, put comments and questions um, below. Um, even if you have critiques, that's okay too. I, I don't expect that all my videos are done very well for everybody to like, but, um, but I want to know. And then also if you have other content that you want to see and you just happen to like this particular video, put it in the comments. It doesn't have to be overly relevant to the video itself. Um, and then, uh, and then finally, of course, if you know somebody who could benefit from this, um, please share it with them. Um, I would like to produce more videos, but to be honest with you, I'm only going to produce them if you guys like them. Thanks so much.